conversation was uh, he made some really just not cool comments. Uh oh. And uh, I was talking to Andy Nagel. Andy Nagel at the same time said something funny. Your, your title, uh, spell it for us. Right. Your name, not your title, we'll figure that part out. My name is Cecil, C-E-C-I-L, Brisbane, B-R-I-S-B-O-N, and I'm a major. Major, what happened here tonight? So shortly um, before 10, so roughly at 9.55, uh, we responded to a call for service for an assault with a deadly weapon in the 7900 block of Oak Meadow Court. Uh, once we arrived on scene, we located a male who was suffering from a gunshot wound. Uh, medic responded to the scene and that individual was uh, pronounced on scene. Um, I always say this, you know, it's the early stages of the investigation, so some of the information is limited. Um, there are several folks out here uh, kind of walking around, so hopefully we find somebody that heard something that's able to give us some information that can help us uh, bring this case to a swifty uh, resolution. Um, but things are, they remain the same. That is, if you, if you see something, if you know something, if you heard something, uh, we'd ask that you please give us a call. Um, you can remain anonymous, you can call Crime Stoppers um, and give us something that will help us uh, solve this case for, uh, for a family that's in need right now. I can see signs for um, camera surveillance inside the apartment complex. Are you hopeful that, that that's going to yield something? And, and if it does, like how realistic is it to expect to find something useful from the property management surveillance? Uh, you know, uh, over the last few years, surveillance and, uh, from property management has improved tremendously. Uh, so that's one of the things that we routinely do is uh, try and get access to camera footage uh, from, from apartment complexes, town and communities, and, and those sort of things. And, and a lot of those are fruitful in, in giving us some information to help us along with our investigations. Uh, at this point, uh, I don't believe we actually had access to it, uh, but we are hoping that that will um, be one of those things that helps us along this uh, resolution. I can see a lot of kids in this apartment complex as well. Like that, that, that troubles me. What, what, what is a, what do, what do y'all, what do you suggest when, when you have kids and, and you are? So the, the reality is it's, 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 it's not just about kids. 
I mean, and I take nothing from that, but what I mean is it's about just people in general, you know. Um, no community needs to deal with, with violent crime. Um, it's harder to deal with when you have kids because then you've got families trying to explain things to younger children and that's something that uh, nobody really wants, wants to do. Um, but we don't want crime in any community. We don't want crime um, around anybody of, of any age. Um, it's a lot harder to deal with when you're a parent and you're, and you're trying to explain something to your child, but uh, we don't even want those parents to deal with it either. Medics say that they had a second victim with life-threatening injuries. Can you confirm that? I cannot confirm that. Okay. Uh, one other question from me. You guys had a team with a rifle on the inside pointing at a second floor window. Can you elaborate on what was going on there? We are responding to this scene and did our due diligence in terms of um, searching and, and trying to track down information that was relevant to this case. And so patrol rifles are one of the tools that we use right now um, when we're on scenes that appear to be uh, what we would call hot or have an elevated situation. And that was just a resource tool that that officer was using at that time. And then um, report, uh, a couple of reports said somebody was taken into custody, was seen in handcuffs. Can you confirm or deny that? I cannot confirm um, anything of that nature at this time. Major, we, uh, Sparksy mentioned something about, you know, children out in the area. We were at a scene yesterday where a seven-year-old was shot. Uh, earlier in that evening, there were two juveniles shot just up the street. I was out there tonight, uh, within minutes of that same area, uh, someone else was shot tonight. Oh, man, a violent couple of days in the Queen City. It's been extremely violent over the last few days. It's disheartening. Um, as I was driving to this scene tonight, um, I was at a loss for words thinking about what I would say to you and your viewers. Um, as, as a community, I think we're all suffering. You know, we've seen one too many victims uh, this year already. Uh, and it, it's the word unfortunate doesn't even come uh, close to explaining how it is. Um, the thing that, that's really on my heart right now is to tell you that uh, this is not just a police problem, this is a community problem, and it's going to take everybody to solve this problem. Um, we need to collaborate with each other, we need to collaborate with nonprofits, um, and we need to find a way to change the hearts and minds of individuals that are involved in violence because this violence is doing nothing to our community uh, but continuing to tear apart. And you know what makes today so, so, uh, so heartbreaking is that just this afternoon they had a community meeting over there. Chief Jennings was over there. Had to talk with everybody, and then that happens tonight. I mean, just unbelievable. Yeah, that. I mean, the chief's response earlier today uh, was to uh, meet with community members and talk about some of the things that we're doing and try and get some input from the community as well. Because, like I said, uh, it takes everybody to solve this problem. And what it tells you is that um, this is not a quick fix. Um, that there are some things that have gone on for a few years now um, that that it didn't get this way overnight and it won't solve itself overnight. But if we work together and uh, put our heads together and, and really, um, like I said, work on the hearts and minds of any individuals that are committing these crimes, uh, we can work this out. But it also takes some, um, some assistance from the other parts of the criminal justice system uh, and some other things as well. But um, this is something that we can do and together I think we'll be successful at it. You guys say all the time to community members, you know, please call in if you have any information, call Crime Stoppers, calls will be anonymous. What do you want to tell the community who is fearful of calling in information that they have? Well, you just said it. Uh, those calls are anonymous. And so we're not giving out the information uh, for anybody that, that calls us to assist with that investigation. I understand fear and, and you know, I can't take that away from you, but what I can tell you is that we'll do everything in our power to make sure that your information is safeguarded. Um, it's not just about you, it's about those individuals that you can help if you come forward with that, with that information. All right, guys. Thank you so much.